When choosing a CPU and GPU combo, it's important to use the money to get the best performance out of it, especially when building a budget PC or with a limited budget. By not efficiently putting the money on the right part, you could be wasting money for barely any performance. The first mistake when choosing a CPU or GPU combo is putting too much money on the CPU or GPU. This depends on what the PC you build is built for. If you are building a gaming PC, it's going to be GPU intensive with some exceptions. And if you are building a PC for work, video editing, or 3D modeling, it's going to be more CPU intensive. What this means is that if you are going to be gaming, you need to spend more money on the GPU instead of the CPU. But if you are building a 3D modeling PC, you should spend more money on the CPU instead of the GPU. The reason for that is because of bottleneck, which is when a component limits the performance of the other. For most modern games, it is going to be GPU intensive, which means GPU is going to be used more heavily, while the CPU will be chilling. But it's a bit more complicated, because it also depends on the resolution you play the games on. If played at a lower resolution, like 720p, the GPU will be doing less work and the CPU will be used more intensively, but higher resolution like 1440p or even 4K is going to use a lot less CPU, but will use a lot more GPU. This is really important to note because if you are playing on 4K, a more powerful CPU will not increase much in FPS. A $65 Ryzen 5 3600X CPU, it gets 205 FPS on Counter-Strike with 4K resolution, and the $438 CPU achieved 215 FPS. This is only 4% different on a $350 more expensive CPU. So instead of buying better CPU for gaming, save the money for a better GPU. For CPU intensive tasks, you want to get a better CPU. Instead of a RTX 5090, which you absolutely could if you have the money, but a mid-range GPU paired with a mid to high range CPU is great. If you have a limited budget, then get a cheaper GPU and pair it with a powerful enough CPU will get you the best performance for that cost. A great way to approximate balanced CPU and GPU combo is to use the bottleneck calculator. I will use the bottleneckcheck.com and I will put a link in the description. In this website, you could put what CPU and GPU you are planning to use, along with the RAM and resolution you are planning to play with. Especially if you are playing on 1080p or 4K, there's a big difference. Here, let's say I use a Ryzen 5 9600X and pair it with a RTX 5070. And I will use 16GB of RAM and I play it on 4K. It shows that my GPU is bottlenecking my build. So instead of Ryzen 5 9600X, I could go with cheaper option like the Ryzen 5 7500F. So I could use the extra money to get a more powerful GPU like the RTX 5070 Ti version. The second mistake people make is choosing 8GB of VRAM when playing on 4K. Now I know this is more of a GPU mistake, but I want to talk about it for a short amount of time. In 4K, the VRAM uses up pretty fast, especially when you turn on ray tracing. This can limit your FPS quite badly. The third mistake is choosing higher core counts of CPU for gaming, since gaming mostly uses single core performance. By choosing a Ryzen 7 instead of Ryzen 5 just for the core count isn't great for the wallet. Instead, use the money to get a better GPU or more VRAM as mentioned in the second mistake. Now let's summarize the video in 30 seconds. 1. Make sure there isn't major bottleneck, as it will waste your money on barely any performance boost. This is especially important for budget PC builds. 2. If you're planning on using ray tracing or playing on high resolution, use 16GB or even more VRAM, as 8GB of VRAM usually isn't enough. 3. Higher core counts won't improve much performance in gaming. Since most games use single core performance, this will let you save money for the future, or upgrading your other PC component. That's it for today's video. If you learned something from this video, I want to ask you to subscribe. This is a new channel, it would be great if you could support me. 
If you want me to make any video or have any questions, feel free to comment. With that, have a great day and pick your PC parts wisely.